Hi everyone, welcome back to DG Oil Painting Techniques. Today we're going to start on the fun stuff, the overpainting as I call it, and uh, this is the stage where we get into the real business of painting. We are trying to nail it in this uh, stage. Now, of course we may not do that, but what I try to do is really work hard at uh, really getting my values and colors working together as a whole and uh, trying to see the whole composition come together. Um, I will start on the face again, the eye, and then working out, uh, painting form by form. And there's not really any particular method about where I go form by form, uh, but I do start um, on the face and make sure I have all my values and colors correct there the way I want them to be. And then all the decisions I make about supporting material will be based on what I've done in the most important part of my subject. Now we did the underpainting yesterday, so and I used that Daniel Smith medium so now uh, it's dry. Now the paint was a little bit thin as well. Uh, and you, I can feel the paint drag somewhat, but basically it's dry to the touch. And uh, it's, it's going to provide a nice uh, layer on which to put our underpainting. I also want to mention that while I'm painting, I do have a palette cup on my palette which has a mixture of one to one odorless mineral, mineral spirits and walnut oil to thin my paints when necessary. I'm going to keep my drawing chops working even at this stage. Uh, there are going to be little inconsistencies and inaccuracies in my drawing uh, and this will give me a final chance to nail down the drawing as I refine it. So. Um, I'm just a big proponent of drawing skills, keeping those drawing skills working throughout the process, not letting up, even though you've put your underdrawing down, even though you've got your underpainting laid in, uh, keep those drawing eyes working and those skills uh, involved in what you're doing. So you can continue to refine your expression. Put it 
Step Step Cool.
Thank you.